Everybody has an interest in engines, and here's one that happens to be torn down. So here's a short course on how some of this works. Everybody looks at the top of this where the valve cover goes. And underneath the valve cover is the rocker arm, the valve spring, and inside this spring is the valve. And there's two valves per cylinder. One that lets the gasoline in and that comes through the intake port. And it's, the intake is not here at the moment, but you can see it comes right in here. This rod right here is called a push rod. It makes this rocker arm go like this, pushes this spring down, open ups the valve, and gasoline gets into the engine, and then it explodes via the spark plug that goes in this hole. The next thing that happens is the gas, this was actually the one that, that does not, this is the exhaust and here's the one that lets the gas in, but same thing. So then when that's all done, the gas has to, the old, old gas has to come out. We call it exhaust and you're familiar with that. This rocker then is rolled up again. The valve opens and the exhaust comes out here, goes through the manifold and out your exhaust pipe. And that's the upper, what they call the upper end. Now this is referred to as the cylinder head it unbolts off of the block, and right here you can see is where the seam is. So this would be called a V8. Well, why do we call it that? It's real simple. Look at the V. V, and the eight is for eight cylinders. So there's four spark plugs on each side, total of eight cylinders. And the valves are a very important part. The heads are a very important part. This is the head. The valves go in the head. The push rods go to the camshaft. Underneath, in the, this is called the belly of the engine right here, underneath the intake, and these are the hydraulic lifters that actually ride on the camshaft, which is below this, and this is the front of the cam. It turns, it has little, what, what people used to refer to as little bumps on the end of it, and it's eccentric, and it pushes, like you can see where this hydraulic lifter has lifted up a little bit whereas this one has not so that means that this valve right here is opening or starting to open so that's a big part of how motors work and that's how when you put gasoline in it how it's going to end up in the motor and exploding and that motor running well enough to get you to work i'm barry wilson with wilson auto repair if you want to see more of these videos look go to my website wilsonauto.com I've been working on classic cars and cars in general for 40 years at this same location.